Hey everybody, just wanted to show you briefly how I get my, finally got my circulars organized. I had them in Ziploc bags and in their original packages and the Ziplocs fell apart and I got sick of looking at them all wrapped up with rubber bands. So I went to the Goodwill and got two like really tacky looking but fun, uh, three ring binders, probably somebody's photo album. This one was a wedding album of all things. And then this was some kind of a business, but I thought it was kind of pretty. The only suggestion I'd make is maybe probably if you can try to get binders that are bigger, like three and a half inches wide, because these they're little, they don't squish flat. But if that bothers you, if it doesn't bother you, I like the color, so I don't care. And they were 99 cents or some crazy thing. Anyway, so what I did is I got three ring binders, and then I uh, got these little these little pouch things. I think they were like ten dollars for six of them, all different colors on Amazon and they're nice because they have mesh on them but then they've got a nice zipper and they're heavy they're heavy fabric so what I did is I organized all my all my circulars because I don't use straights anymore at all I or organized all my circulars and figured out divided them by five or by five because I want one for double needles divided them by five and figured out how many I have of each then I put two or three of uh, a size in each package here and I put a little card in here telling me what I have in them so I can always know what I've got at any time and then I just go in here and in the case of the small ones I left them in their packages because they were small enough so I just left the packages in there for those guys in order I don't use those as often fortunately um, and then the bigger ones these are fours and six fours fives and sixes and you get up there and then the bigger ones here um, same thing, but these ones I took out of their packages. I just, I just saved all the packages, put them in a bag in case I ever want to give them away or something, and I just put the numbers in there, because it's obvious which ones are the biggest ones and which ones aren't. That way, if I'm needing something, I can always see whether I've got it. Then I put on my double-pointed needles. I put them in the little wrappers so that they stay together, like that, and I just stuck those all in there. And that's about it. That's this makes it pretty squishy for me because I have a lot of circulars. Then I put all of my dimensions, like when I measure people, what their dimensions are. And then I put a few of my favorite knitting patterns. You can put more in if you want. The ones I refer to all the time. So I hope you can see this. Um, there's my doubles, my biggest needles, and all of these. And it's just nice because they just stick it aside and forget about it. So then, I got a second one for 99 cents, and I did the same thing, but I got smaller pouches. These were just mesh pouches like, I don't know, they're like pencil cases. It was the same company. It was called, uh, what was it called? I can't read the dang thing. Hang on. Let me see if I can read it. B-A-Z-I-C, basic like basic with a Z. Anyway, they had these and they also had those. And these were like eight bucks for f uh, three or four of them too. So I like these because they're clear and I can see what I've got in here. So these are all my notions. So this one, if you can see it, has all my um, stitch holders. And then I actually have stitch holders. I just put all the ones that I use for every day, like my yarn and stuff, ones on a stitch holder and just hold them in one place. And they all zip up, which is nice. And then I put all my crochet hooks in one. Um, and then I put all the notions that I use. I use like uh, squinch scrunchies for making, you know, kids stuff and headbands and Google eyes and stuff. And then finally I put, uh, I got, there's a lot of these little things you can get. If you go to the Goodwill, you can find all these little inserts that they had for three ring binders that have these little pockets in them. So this one has my needle, my gauge, my, some markers, bobbins. And then I found this one had a color wheel. I thought it was kind of cool. So I stuck it in there. So I just, like having them all. I can just sit these on the counter and forget about it and they look great and uh, so that's how I organize my circulars.